On this episode of Trail Guides, we pull out one of your favourite co-hosts, Dickie B. Right, boys, then. Yeah. As we show you one of our favourite places to ride, Hopton Castle in Shropshire. <laughs> Uh, in terms of the actual loop, uh, I like the loop because it starts in a downhill. It doesn't start, it starts about halfway up the hill. So the first sort of 10, 15 minutes is sort of flowy downhill with a few little climbs up and down bits. And then it goes into a bit of a killer climb. But uh, by which point you kind of warmed up and it's not so bad. It's not a massive loop. I think it's probably about five and a half, six miles maybe max. But one of the cool things is because it kind of incorporates part of the downhill tracks, uh, what I like to do when I'm there is I do part of the loop, do a bit of the downhill track and then I kind of go off on some of the fire roads back to the top of some of the other downhill tracks, do some of those downhill tracks and then link it back up with the fire road and link it back up with the, the loop and everything. Uh, so I think we'll probably just film it, show you the actual main loop, show you some of the downhill tracks and what you can expect there. So if you're thinking maybe you fancy trying some of those out, there's some cool flowy jumps and rocky sections, there's all sorts there. And yeah, let's go check it out, it's right. As you probably guessed, Hopton Castle gets its name from the medieval castle which sits in the woods shadow. Situated just outside Craven Arms in Shropshire, it's really easy to find. But as always, all the details included, postcode, etc. are in the description to this video. Right, we'll just let Rich do his pre-ride stretches and then let's go ride. <laughs> We've got these bad boys in. Yeah. Right, when you're ready, come on then. <laughs> oh shit. As you can see, that first section is just beautiful, flowy single track with a gentle downhill. After which the flowy trail continues as it follows the edge of the woodland with a few short 10 second sprint climbs thrown in for good measure. Shortly after this, there's no way to avoid it, but we have to tackle the biggest climb on the whole loop. It goes from the very bottom of the woodland right to the highest point on the hill. And in this hot early summer sun, I was definitely sweating buckets before I reached the top. Once you've reached the top, you'll see this mound, which is the highest point on the hill. This is used as the start for one of the main downhill runs. The next section is part of one of the old downhill tracks, so you don't have to start from the very top, but where's the fun in that?
win. Follow your shit lines. Rich took a funny line outside there. Don't know where he was going. I went through what seems to be the obvious fast line choice, racing line. There's an easier line to the right hand side here. So we're gonna watch Dickie B. After Rich and I both watched each other try the different lines available here, we couldn't decide which one was best. So let us know what you think in the comments. We then headed further down the track to another section that had got us stumped. And no pun intended. So here we have line choice one, line choice two. It's quite interesting which went down here, but what is interesting here is, is this seems obvious, but it's not this bit actually come up to this next section and there's this stump here so do you want a line and go around the outside for that or is there an option to cut across and aim down there and that all comes back from whether you get this section right or not After several goes and not being able to nail it, we came to the conclusion that that inside line probably is faster, but our ambition is outweighing our talent. Let us know what you guys think. Put it in the comments below. Right, cue the music as we hit the fastest part of the main trail loop. After this section we go straight into another one of the downhill tracks. We all saw it, but Rich wasn't happy with that massive case on that step down, so we went back for another try. And another try. And just for good measure, one last go. Rich decided that his excuse was that he was hungry, so we stopped for something to eat and then went and checked out another one of the downhill runs.
section as we come off it. That time then we seem to jump off and head down there. Whereas what we need to be doing is jumping up and onto this section here. So jumping across this and going up and down there. The problem with that is getting into this line means if you come up from down there, you sort of push wide and sends you down wide. Whereas if you push, come to the left of that stump and down, maybe you can cut across and come up. <laughs> There was this strange line here that we couldn't understand why anyone was using it, but then when we tried to hit the section before it was speed, we soon found out. And that is where that line's come from. Rich, not happy with how fast that last attempt was, he then spent 10 minutes deciding which line to take before coming to the conclusion that he could just jump the lot. After that descent we rejoined the main trail centre loop and after a little bit of climbing and normal trail riding we finally reached the gorgeous single track downhill finish to the car park. or Hopton Trails, how you want to call it. We've all just called it Hopton. Uh, as you can see, there's a bit uh, of everything. There's a loop there. It's probably a little bit more technical than your average sort of red graded trail center, like Canic or something like that. Um, it's got some pretty cool natural features in there, lots of roots and stuff. And like you say, you can always, if you want to sort of get into the bit more of the gnarly stuff, you can hit some of those downhill, uh, downhill trails uh, and you know have some fun there including some pretty cool jumps uh, great day today lovely sunshine absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it it was a really sick trail a really sick place and yeah that's uh, Hopton go check it out so yeah if you like this give it a big thumbs up and all that jazz and I'll uh, I'm gonna go home have some dinner I've got pasta waiting can't wait See you later. Bye-bye.